Hey guys, this is Ragged Star with a bit of a random kind of video. Let me just up the volume. There we go. Okay, so this is a preview of sorts for a game that just came out today. Well, yesterday technically it's 12:17 a.m., but it is Tokyo Jungle. It's a bit of a low pro lower profile game. It's not a AAA title. It's exclusive to the uh, PlayStation Network for $15. So if you want to buy it, the game's up and so is the DLC. I did not check out the DLC and my controller was running low on juice. But I decided to do a bit of a favor to a friend who has also been following the game. The first time I think I saw the game was in 2010, where it was first introduced at the Tokyo Game Show. And basically, Tokyo Jungle is a bit of a survival sort of game. Uh, it's kind of like Deadly Creatures for the Wii, except it's nothing like Deadly Creatures for the Wii, if you catch my drift. It's, it's, it's kind of like a budget title. Uh, game based on survival. And yeah, I was kind of laughing at that because it's, if you didn't read it there, it said it was a work of fiction and all resemblance and blah blah blah. Considering that there are no humans in this game, from what I know. But the game is very much based on survival. It's based on fighting and eating and hunting and stuff like that in a world where there are no people. It's kind of like... I was thinking once in the history program World After People or something like that. Oh, don't worry, that's just me fiddling with the terms of service. Um, there was a show where basically they, the people of the world went poof and all the animals and all the buildings and everything were left intact. And in this game, you play as the animals in Tokyo, as the world kinda, you know, goes on. And there is a, a survival and a story mode. Survival is kind of like your freeform mode with various missions. And the story mode is, well, the story. But you can't activate it just yet. I'm just kind of looking all around everywhere. Looking for what I can get into. So, um... Hold on, can I just finally get to the tutorial? Okay, so... Just as the tutorial... I kind of find my way over to the tutorial. Uh, this is my first sitting. I've seen some gameplay. This is the... Well, I guess I might as well save it. This is kind of like the first set of cutscenes in the game. It's kind of ex mostly explaining the stuff that I've already explained. Um... What was I talking about anyways? Oh well, here's the tutorial. Uh, so stealth is a big part of it. This is kind of like your big stealth tutorial. And it's mostly based just kind of looking at where your enemies are facing or your prey is facing and just kind of bobbing around the grass. The main kind of character in the game that's been advertised the most is the Pomeranian. So but you can play other animals too, like here's a cat. As we're hunting down a helpless rabbit, and I fail. What you're supposed to do is wait for the... Uh, let's thank you again for telling me I fail. Uh, there's a bit of a red circle jaw symbol right there. And basically you have to wait for it to activate. I waited a little bit too late. And that's kind of how you get your best kills. Come on, kitty. I'm taking my time here. There we go. Nice kill. 
in the Japanese version, this scheme has been out in Japan since uh, about June, around the time E3 came around. And, you know, it's been actually been getting quite good reviews. I mean, this is me figuring out about the carry, some carry button, and I thoroughly abuse it later. Now, this game came around around the time of E3. It was also shown off at E3 at the Sony Europe station. And it hasn't got too much attention, but a lot of people were quite interested in it. And this is a Beagle versus Hyena, a very favorable matchup for our good friend the Beagle. And there goes the Hyena. Uh, how much are do Beagles weigh? Like 20 pounds <laughs> against a almost 100 pound beast like a hyena. Oh, you'll see later that the game kind of goes by its own rules. It's a very strange game. It's not, as you can tell, it doesn't have the production quality of, you know, like a Final Fantasy or something like that, but, you know, it's kind of good at what it does, as you'll eventually see. This is just an uh, innovating tutorial. Because they can deal some fatal blows that can take off quite a bit of damage. In this mission, you have to take down all the hyenas with Mr. Beagle. I thought I was being smart by getting a clean kill right there. But I realized that I suck at fighting, so I was kind of mashing around, ultimately sucking. Um, better note, I was talking about before, the and here it says clean. Oh, I edited these things a bit longer than I thought I would. Shorter than I thought I would. Here's the Seeker Deer in a playstyle that many people have nicknamed Metal Deer Solid. And I was joking about it here and having a nice little laugh. But of course you can't hear it because my audio is screwed up. Okay, so as an herbivore, you naturally can't fight a bunch of wolves like these guys. So most of what you have to do is hide and run, as I'm demonstrating right here with the hyena. And this is kind of like the meteor part of the uh, tutorial. So this, here I'm kind of controlling a golden retriever. And the, main, the mission here is to take over Shibuya, so what you do is Mark your territory, which oddly enough does not include uh, keying, but uh, you kind of have to kill and mark at the beacons. Over here, I decided to have a little bit of fun with the dead cat. <laughs> I was so happy with my little dead cat, so I kind of carried it around everywhere, kind of ignoring everything else like that live cat that I could be e I could be eating for the experience. And the Thompson's Gazelle, that could be eating for experience. Oh boy. Uh, eventually, I meet up, met up with the hyena, kill them, and found my dead cat. And sniffing around. I think I found another hyena. Though, eventually, once I took over Shibuya, a female dog appeared. And with the. When you're attracting a mate, you have to be as strong as possible. Keep an eye on the ranking. Every time you eat, or fight, or whatever, you gain a rank. Well, you gain points. Their points are measured in kilocalories. Or, or just calories, it's basically the same thing anyways. So, most of the time in this tutorial I was off killing things. To impress a girl. Haha. Uh -huh. And... Yeah, come on, just eat the chicken. Yeah, right there, veteran. And let's see what's next. Oh, and here I found my good friend the sheep. And I, if you were listening to commentary, you would hear me scream my nice battle cry of sheepy. But you can't do it anymore. I hate doing post commentary, don't you? I'm very happy with my sheep kill since most of what I kill is like chicken and rabbits and cats. And here's a nice little Tommy Gazelle. I 
think it's a Tommy Gazelle. It looks like a Tommy Gazelle. I think over here, do I rank up? Yep, I do. And I rank up to the status of boss. And Susan Ardenet of The Escapist made a, quite a joke about this. Since you, once you're a boss, you're pretty much irresistible to anyone. So she described uh, Tokyo Jungle as being the only game where you can have sex like a boss. Think about it. Okay, so once you mate, you get, your, get yourself a litter, you control the litter, you don't control your old animals anymore. And you uh, basically create the new generation, and then you basically start the process all over. It's a very arcadey kind of setup. It's very addictive from what I've heard. Um, oh, and I heard this from Ju Wario's review of Tokyo Jungle. Apparently once you mate, you... It's like the controller <laughs> vibrates. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a really stupid thing. I don't have my controller on vibrate. Uh, these there's over 50 animals you can choose from in Tokyo Jungle. This is one. This is the survival screen. It can be in single player or in, or multi or local multiplayer. Unfortunately, it's not uh, PSN supported. Hopefully, it does eventually. Um, some of the animals are unlocked through DLC. The others are unlocked through uh, I think just collecting points in survival mode. I was kind of. <laughs> found it funny on how you had to control the crocodile. I don't know, it's, like, it's hardly even anymore here. But I chose the Pomeranian, you have two options, you have the Pomeranian and the Sika Deer. Um, so I just basically, well, there's a trophy. And the challenge, challenges earn you survival points, which can help you earn more things. Scattered around the level is also the chips. These chips you can uh, find in the level. I think they're marked on the map. And they can unlock the story mode. Because they, well, I'm not going to spoil what they are. I was told what they were. Thank you, Kit. Okay, so I spent a lot of time hunting. And th like, check, check this out. Check this out. That's a deer. This is a 10 pound dog. Watch this. I love you, game. <laughs> yeah, that was a 10 pound dog taking down a deer. I don't care that that was a doe or a fawn or something. Pomeranians don't take down deer. I love you, Japan. I really, really do. Okay, so. Uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, I'm just kind of showing off what. Like, the controls are technically on a 3D plane, though it's a bit hard to kind of position yourself properly. And up there on the top right, it was talking about dog-monkey relationships. Like, kind of like in the news, where you talk about treaties and stuff like that, so I had no idea what was going on there. It was funny, anyways. In the idea of also have reduced visibility, which I didn't like so much. Um... If you look at the top, you notice the life's hunger and stamina bar. Puppy here is very hungry. And already his life was, went down a little bit if I didn't drink some water earlier. So, to nom 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 on a dead bunny. And if you can tell, there is a dog attracted to, to our little puppy here. And you notice the black hearts. I was, I was too busy hunting and killing that rabbit that was trapped against the wall that I didn't notice her approaching me and she has black hearts. Remember the pink hearts? Pink hearts are good. There's three There's three types of uh, of uh, mates you can get and that was the worst one and she gave me ticks. I know there's worse things you can get from a lady on random lady on the street than ticks but I don't know. It's not that hard to get away with but she gave these, they really do give some bad offspring. Also, if you notice by the nest, there's also a save icon. A lot of people were kind of wondering where the save icon was, but it's right there at the nest. Okay, so Puppy, puppy Pomeranian has puppies. And so now I'm controlling two puppies. You can get a lot more as I'm taking off these chickens that decided to go 
go right near a dog's nest. I don't know why. So here with my buddies, we are ambushed by cats! Look at all those cats! There was a mission where I had to kind of take the territory from the cats, but I didn't expect them. So there was cats everywhere and I was screaming on camera. I was like, there's so many kitties! And they were vicious and they were trying to kill me. And look at the hunger, I couldn't find any food. So I was basically just trying to finish the fight and take corpses, but I couldn't and these cats, like look at all of them, what? Look at all those cats! You can apparently order your other, your buddy around, but I couldn't, I didn't catch what button it was. I thought it was up on the D-pad, but obviously it wasn't it because, well, look what I did. It looks like it could be like an inventory kind of screen. I wasn't really paying attention. So I just basically went off. I knew this guy was finished. So I just kind of take down as many as I could with me. I was running off a little bit just if I can escape it, but it was no use. So once you, as long as you have a litter mate to use, you can always jump to that litter mate. And I did manage to finish off these cats. A few more came in. I didn't miss there. Shouldn't have missed. But and uh, that's poor little puppy. Look at all those cats. I just can't get over that. There's just so many cats and I was just crying and screaming. I wish I kept that part, but it was just sounded so jittery. I didn't know what happened. This new mic, it's just so sensitive that I caught- I basically caught my own voice twice. It was my own carelessness. I won't do it again. Okay, so all the cats are dead. So since puppy here was so hungry, I had to basically make do with what I had. I'm trying to eat all the cats. I didn't see if I could eat my own brother, but whatever. Yeah, you just notice now that the screen kind of got purple. That's not a good sign. Um, when the screen goes all purple like that, it means that the, there's smog. And smog, basically, no matter what, takes off your health progressively, and I didn't notice it right away. And I didn't know what to do. I couldn't remember what the tutorial said what to do in case of smog, so I just kind of ran, tried to run back to Shibuya. But as you can tell, there's no food, there's no water, I couldn't do anything. And yeah, this little buddy, I couldn't save him. Aww. I miss the puppy. Okay. So, that was my first playthrough of Tokyo Jungle. It's a very cruel kind of game, but I guess that's kind of the point. But, uh, I had fun. It was a very addict. It was a fun, weird, but fun kind of game. Uh, at the end of it, you get a tally based on what you accomplished. And there's also a leaderboard. As you can tell, that was my ranking in the world. Like 190,585. I think that's it. It's a bit hard to tell on Windows Movie Maker. But it's not bad. I mean, there's there's worse people than me out there. Oh, it's, one, oh, it's 190,583. Sorry. Anyways, that was Tokyo Jungle. It's $15 on PSN if you are interested in it. I don't think it's- it's not a game for everyone, but it is worth looking into. I don't think there's a demo, but uh, the reviews have been pretty good so far. It's been getting around 7.5 to 8. It's not- not a bad review score for such a niche game. It's very unique, and they do deserve it. It sold very well in Japan, got good reviews as well in Japan, and they moved it here, and I just hope it does well. It's a very... It's a game we kind of need something to keep a break between all the gritty, realistic, military kind of shooters. So, yeah, this is Ragastar signing off from Post Commentary.